Football Friday Night is brought to you by Hawthorne Bank. With seven locations in mid-Missouri, we're here to help you. SSM Health St. Mary's, we'll get you back in the game. Rourke Aluminum, Steve's Pest Control, Custom Screen Printing, Kempker Heating and Air Conditioning, and Randy Kaiser State Farm Insurance. It's Football Friday Night. Here's Rod Smith. Good evening and welcome to a state playoff football Friday night. Four mid-Missouri teams made it to the final four in their respective classes. Three state semifinal games to highlight tonight. One more tomorrow. We'll begin our expanded coverage with the California Pintos. Third straight trip to the class three semifinals in Oak Grove, Missouri, just east of Kansas City. Great show of support. California fans travel well. Pintos and Panthers. With the winner moving on to the state title game one week from today, Oak Grove strikes first. Long Panther touchdown run, Aaron Graham, 76 yards. This Oak Grove team ended Maryville's 42-game win streak last week in a blowout victory. California trailing 7-0 in swing kickoff. Similar last week, but it's Walker Bogart this time from his own one. Goes 99 yards for the touchdown, but it was called back because of the penalty. Stays seven nothing Oak Grove later in the first California's Jaden Barr keeps many big plays for Barr this year. He has been a difference maker 50 yard run that inside the Oak Grove 10 yard line sets up the Walker Bogart two yard touchdown. Look at the nice second effort here. He will go in seven seven game. We're all tied up but Oak Grove answers right back quarterback keeper 10 yard touchdown Panthers take a 14 to 7 lead Oak Grove again later in the second quarter four yard touchdown Pintos trailing 21 to 7 California drives the field one yard line final seconds of the first half Pintos denied stays 21 7 Oak Grove at the half Oak Grove scores two quick TDs in the second half California some razzle dazzle here bar to Drew Norton flips to the speedster Walker Bogart the old hook and ladder and this one goes for the touchdown but it was Oak Grove piling up 532 yards rushing only passed the ball four times you don't have to when you run like this Jake Armstein long touchdown run California falls to Oak Grove the final 49 to 14 the first and only loss of the season for the Pintos. I tell you what, it's always difficult, you know, when they, they, they put their heart in it and they work so hard all year long and you get you get this close that you can almost taste the dome and uh, and they fell short the uh, last three years, you know, but uh, I tell you what, they, they have nothing to be ashamed of. Uh, they lost to a good football team tonight and uh, I would be surprised, wouldn't be surprised if they're not the state's champion. It has been the last two years. and. So the California Pintos come up one game short of a trip to the state championship, but it was a great season 13 and one. Congratulations to California High Oak Grove will meet the winner of this one tomorrow. John Burroughs and Monette, the team that beat Osage last week. What an amazing ride for the Battle High Spartans in Columbia, and it's not over yet. Second year program, first senior class, first time they were eligible to play in the state playoffs. They have made the most of it. Another home postseason game tonight hosting Ladue Horton Watkins. The winner heading to the Dome for a Class 5 state title game next week. Battle riding a five game winning streak. Jerrion Nelson puts the Spartans on top. Eight yard touchdown, seven nothing battle on top. Watch this Spartan quarterback Brevin Tyler with a great fake. He keeps it and he will take it. 75 yards for the touchdown battle out to the 13 to nothing lead. Tyler ran in a 30 yard touchdown in the second half after a Ledoux field goal Spartans would strike again here in the first Marshall Willingham impressive 40 yard touchdown it's 20 to 3 battle at halftime and the Spartans would add two second half TDs battle will head to the dome and play for a state championship they celebrate a 34 to 6 win over Ledoux. You know we played great defense tonight. Our offense was able to score some points. You know, I'm mean, super excited. You know, for us to be able to put points up like that on this great of a team, I uh, couldn't be prouder of my guys right now. I'm going to tell them that, uh, you know, this is the first time. This is school history right here. Cannot believe that we are in the state championship in our first year eligible, and I, I can't wait to go celebrate with them. Wow. Congratulations to the Battle Spartans. Amazing story, and it is not over yet. Next Friday night, Battle will play for a state championship against Nixa, who beat Park Hill 22 to 10. This will be Nixa's first trip 
to a state title game. Another long road trip for the KRCG cameras following the West Strand Hornets to Penny High School in Hamilton. That's in Northwest Missouri. First time we've ever made this trip. West Strand coming in at 12 and 1. Penny at 11 and 2. Two sets of Hornet teams. West Strand Hornets in the white jerseys, green helmets. Zane Jacoby, the standout quarterback, waits, fires, tipped up, caught. Tack on another 15 yards for the late hit there. Same drive for West Strand. Dalton Wright takes the handoff around the far end. Good second effort, and he will get in the end zone. Touchdown Hornets from West Strand, 7 0. The Penny Hornets tie it up at 7 7. Kellen Overstreet, this guy is verbally committed to play at Wyoming next year. A nice touchdown run here. West Strand answers Zane Jacoby. This guy has over 11,000 yards passing and rushing combined in his career. Add to that with a touchdown run, 14-7 West Rand, and another Zane Jacoby run. This guy's a human highlight film. Look at him break the tackles here, stays on his feet, switches direction, goes around the outside, 20-7, Hornets on top. An amazing athlete, and Mizzou is interested in Zane Jacoby. 49 and 38-yard touchdown runs in the first half. Tie game 2020 at the half. Zane Jacoby with six rushing touchdowns leads Westran to the 48-39 win. Westran is heading to the Dome in St. Louis next Friday afternoon. They will play the winner of the Valley Catholic Skyline game that is scheduled for tomorrow. So congratulations to Westran. The South Callaway Bulldogs will wait until tomorrow to play the school's first ever state semifinal football game. Tim Rulo's team heads to Palmyra in northeast Missouri near Hannibal. South Callaway is a perfect 13-0. They have been absolutely dominating this season, outscoring their opponents 711 to 77. The first team defense has given up a total of three touchdowns all season. For South Callaway, this is another chance to make some school history at a school that's done a lot of that over the past few years with a first ever state baseball championship, a first softball final four. Now it is football's turn. Being on Saturday is definitely different. We've had to adjust our schedule. We've talked about that a lot, you know, talking to our players about just getting their minds ready to go that at 2 o'clock on Saturday they're going to be playing a game. You know, normally at 2 o'clock they're probably taking a nap or eating lunch and they're going to be playing a game and just trying to get them ready to go for them. We've talked about that a lot. And, you know, we really, really try to pride ourselves on mental preparation and making sure we're mentally ready to go. And Game's a game. We can't change how we feel about it or what day it's on. We just got to go out and do what Coach Rillo has taught us and that's just play the game we love. 2 p.m. kickoff tomorrow in Palmyra. KRCG's TJ Fenske will be there. We'll have highlights tomorrow night at 6 and 10. The other class two game, Malden and Lamar. Well, that Lamar team is always good. That one being played at 1 o'clock tomorrow. As the high school football season finishes up, it's time for hoops to begin. Big crowd for the basketball jamboree tonight over at Helias. Jeff City, Fatima, Blair Oaks, and Helias boys and girls teams in action. Helias winning two scrimmages tonight. Isaiah Sykes. He is exciting. Nice play there. He is heading to Central Missouri next year. How about this guy? Hale Hench is heading to Alabama to play football. His senior season of basketball first, though. Another scrimmage, Jefferson City and Blair Oaks. The Jays have a future Indiana Hoosier. There he is, OG Ananobi, just signing his letter of intent this week. 6'8 senior. He is tough matchup for anybody. Blair Oaks. They're small this year, but they can shoot the ball. How about Corey Frank to D1 golfer signing with Missouri State this week? And Cody Alexander, just a sophomore buzzer beater here. OG, though, had a big time buzzer beater in this scrimmage. Over on the girls' side, Jefferson City Lady Jays have a new head coach, Christy Douglas Wiley, former Oklahoma State basketball player. Nice passing for Jeff City in the dark jerseys inside to Nicole Martin for the bucket and my good friend Evan Wiley, former OU Sooner, doing the camera work and enjoying a little popcorn with his son, too. Scores not all that important tonight. Scrimmaging Jeff City Blair Oaks girls they ended up in a tie. Most teams will start playing for real after Thanksgiving. More Jamboree basketball tonight at Rockbridge High in Columbia. Jim Scanlon and the Bruins, they're always good. They would battle, battle, and Sedalia Smith Cotton in scrimmage play. Rockbridge taking care of business. They win both 35 20 over battle, 20 19 over Smith Cotton. The Mizzou football Tigers are in Tennessee this weekend, set to face the Volunteers tomorrow night, 6 30 on the SEC network. Missouri needs to win the final two games to clinch the SEC East title. The Tigers are slight underdogs against the Vols, but that hasn't bothered Mizzou lately, having won nine straight on the road.
We're in a great, great situation right now, and, and we realize what we have ahead of us. But um, Coach Pickles gonna make sure, like he always does, it, it, we're on Tennessee right now. We don't want our faith to be in. We'd rather be Mizzou than be depending on some other team to lose just for we to be there. So we got our own destiny, and we just want to keep on working hard and, and uh, winning. We know how we have to approach these games, and because we did it last year, and we know you know every game from here on out is kind of like a playoff for us. And you know we got to keep winning if we, if we want to make it to the championship game. NCAA soccer tonight. Washington beats Mizzou, the Mizzou soccer team, in overtime. They end the year. The Tigers end 12-7-3. MU women's basketball playing in Hawaii. This game just turned final. Missouri wins it over UNLV. Back to our high school football coverage. Steve's Pest Control Defensive Pest of the Week goes to West Strand and Austin Sears and a host of Hornets who take down Palmyra's Division I running back. You won't see it, but believe me, they are the pest of the week. And here they are, Austin Sears in the backfield with the big tackle. And our Hawthorne Bank Team of the Night Honors go to has to be the Battle Spartans. Justin Conyers and company, second year varsity play. They will play for a state title coming up next Friday night, the 34-6 semifinal win over Horton Watkins of Ladue. Football Friday Night has been brought to you by Hawthorne Bank, SSM Health, St. Mary's, Rourke Aluminum, Steve's Pest Control, Custom Screen Printing, Kempker Heating and Air Conditioning, and Randy Kaiser's State Farm Insurance.